Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about crash and smash technology on Alarm.com compatible panels. Now we have a bunch of Alarm.com panels on the wall. We have the GC3, the GC2, we have some Simon models, and then we have the uh, Qualsys IQ2 right up here. All of these systems are able to use the crash and smash technology that you get with a full monitored system on Alarm.com, and it's a great feature to use. The crash and smash is only going to work on a system that is monitored with a central station as crash and smash has to do with the interaction to central station. What crash and smash allows the system to do is that if an intruder breaks in the house and they smash the panel, it will still signal to central station and central station is still going to dispatch as if the alarm was a real, uh, real active burglary alarm. This is a great feature for all-in-one panels because you may be wondering what happens if an intruder breaks in my house, hears this thing going off, runs over to it, and smashes it. This prevents that. The way that crash and smash works is that when somebody, let's say they go in through one of the entry doors of the home, that signal is going to go up to alarm.com, and alarm.com is going to expect that a disarm signal comes in at a certain amount of time after it receives that signal. Alarm.com is smart enough to know it's going to calculate the latency of the signal. It's going to look at uh, any signal degradation as far as cellular strength goes, and it's going to look at the Berg dialer delay. It'll also look at the delay timer on the system for disarming to do a calculation to expect when it should see a disarm signal. If it doesn't see that disarm signal, it's going to send that straight to central station, and central will treat it like a regular burglary alarm. It means that if the intruder breaks in, they go through an entry door, the system saying, hey, disarm me. They walk up to it and smash it. Even though the system isn't sending up that full alarm signal to alarm.com and then the central station, central station will still treat that as a real burglary alarm because the system wasn't disarmed uh, after a certain period of time. Another instance where crash and smash is useful is if the Berg dialer delay on the system is enabled. What the Berg dialer delay is, it's a window of time that the system waits before sending a burglary signal to uh, alarm.com and then central station. Some companies enable this as it gives you a window. It makes the, the, the time that it takes for the signal to get to central take longer, which can reduce the chance of a false alarm. We at Alarm Grid, we turn it off for any panel that we can. Some panels do have it burned in. With all that said though, let's say that the Berg dialer delay is enabled on the panel and somebody breaks in the house. The alarm goes off, the system is screaming, but because the dialer delay is enabled, it's not going to send that full uh, alarm signal to alarm.com and then central station until that dialer delay passes. Now with crash and smash, even though it still has the Berg dialer delay, Alarm.com is still going to look for that disarm signal to come from the panel and it's still going to send that signal over to central station and it's still going to be able or central will still be able to respond to the signal as if it's a burglary alarm. So even with the Berg dialer delay enabled and even with the Berg dialer delay time, if the system is triggered during that time, Alarm.com is going to get that signal and they're going to pass it to, uh, to the central station to respond to it. So as you can see, Crash and Smash is a wonderful feature to use and have. It's actually enabled automatically on Alarm.com monitored systems for the uh, Berg dialer delay. That's the, the situation that I just described. The only place that it can be toggled on and off is on the entry delay, which is the first situation I described. That's if an intruder breaks in the home through an entry door and the system's counting down its entry delay. That can be turned on or off for Crash and Smash from the dealer. Now. We at Alarm Grid, we always enable it um, for that to give you the best protection that you can have. But just keep in mind, if you are monitored elsewhere, you may want to call your alarm dealer and just make sure that they have enabled Crash and Smash during the entry delay period on your panel. That's pretty much how Crash and Smash works on Alarm.com. If you did enjoy the video, head over to our website, alarmgrid.com. Give us a call, 888-818-7728, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified about future videos when we post them, click the notification button below, and we'll send an update when we do so. We hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.